my. Look at this glorious mech. Hey everybody, Antec here. Welcome back to Pantropy. If you did not see the last episode, go check it out. We jumped into the game for the first time ever yesterday. And this game is a lot of fun to play so far. We're just kind of getting the, the hang of it. There is some kind of beast right here. What in the world, dude? So, that thing is terrifying looking. In the last episode, we got attacked. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even want to go near that thing. In the last, there's like, an, there's like an enemy mech over there, too. In the last episode, we encountered some weird alien bug thing that tried to eat my brains. And we, <laughs> we ran away from it as fast as we can. We're here in the center of the map, basically, in the Black Desert location. And we're going to make our way towards that. I was In the last episode, I was researching parts. Because I was finding a whole bunch of stuff. I was researching legendary parts. And we were getting some good knowledge. Before we settle down and build a base. And see what we can do. Now if you guys don't know what Pantropy is. This is a survival exploration. Open world FPS faction based game. Where you have two factions that war against each other. You got in depth crafting. You got base building. Exploration. Adventure. All kinds of different things. It's set on an alien planet as you can see. And so far, I've been having a lot of fun. I've just been, like, researching things because I figure that it's probably good to research these items uh, because I don't think you ever lose them unless, obviously, the server gets wiped or something. Or unless, yeah, the server gets wiped, which I don't know if it will. Um, there's not any, there's nobody on right now, really. It's just devs, and so I'm just kind of checking out the game for the first time ever. Mech Duel Laser Lance? Tier 3 Mech. Now, that's going to take forever to get, so I want to try to get this thing. <gasps> I researched it! 20% research! Sweet! Mech Dual Laser Lance? That sounds amazing. I don't even know what it is, but it sounds awesome. Mech Barricade, Perimeter Wall. Let's get per- Ah, oh, shoot, man. We failed. We were sitting here researching yesterday, and a mech came walking up on me. An enemy mech. Well, actually, it's a fa friendly faction mech. And so I was safe. There was a mech right down here, though. Look at him. Just stand in there. And it can't attack you because that one attacked me, you know, in the last one. So, uh, those bug things attacked me. So, I gotta look out. We're gonna, we're gonna venture this way, though, guys. We're gonna pick up some research stuff along the way and then just see what we encounter. There's been, so far, a couple cool things. That's another epic and a poor one. We even got a, we got a pretty good thing out of a, a low quality one, though, so... I don't know how poor it actually is. And I don't know, you know, it's going to take me a long time to research things. And I did find a really nice area too that had some really good basic resources. Um, as you can obviously tell, this is the mech graveyard. There are tons and tons of, there's some kind of like massive war that happened here or something. And I'm just getting the, uh, the loot from them. Yeah, legendary, sweet. There's also like some rare resources around here that I can't even craft. I can't even harvest yet because you need to have a probably like a tier two or a tier three mining tool. And I just have a, a pickaxe and I don't even have a tier one yet because it takes a long time to do. But we need to settle down and get a base first, I think, though, before we do anything. So I'm going to go research these things. And then we're going to head in towards the, the center of this map and find out what the heck that alien spaceship mothership looking like plant egg thing is <laughs> I have no idea what it is but I'm a little nervous about going any further into the black area because apparently it's like the most hostile area on the map but not only that um, I think this will be like a highly contested area because especially if there's like research stuff like this around you can definitely see players coming here now I do want to word, word of caution give me it oh shoot if you encounter Oh, sweet, a helmet. Heavy armor helmet? Nice. If you encounter any egg sacs, do not, I repeat, do not hit it unless you want to die. <laughs> or unless you want to run away from giant bug things. Because I hit one in the last episode and a bug, bugs, a bunch of bugs and babies came at me. And it was scary. 30 millimeter cannon, sweet, 100% chance. I got 120 millimeter in the last one. Advanced mining station. Let's get this. Ah, oh, shoot, man. So those are pretty low chances to get those, but it's worth a shot, right? Alright, let's go, guys. We're gonna head towards the center and see what's over here. Okay, we got a different rock here that I have yet to see. What the heck? Is that a person's ship? That's a person's ship. M tier 2 mining to mine that ore. That's a ship. That's somebody's ship, guys. 
Or is that a, some kind of flying... Dude, you see that? Some kind of flying animal. Either way, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to draw any attention to myself. I don't know how I even would. Are they going to that thing? Did they just go up there? There's those sacks. I don't know if it's because I hit him or because I was near him. But things came out at me and it was very unpleasant. There are giant alien things on this planet on this planet. There are big giant mechs that you can make. There are like uh multi-crew vehicles, like ships that you can drop off other mechs with, like pick up mechs and drop them off. There's base defenses, like big artillery cannons and stuff you can get. Lots and lots and lots of cool things you get in this game. And uh I think like eventually like end game stuff would be pretty sweet to encounter I think but I have no idea I just want to pilot a mech but I don't know how much time it's gonna take me to do it I think it's gonna take me ages because I haven't even got some of the basic stuff yet. what the heck okay look out for that right there I don't know if there's fall damage though it is very early development I should say that right away so there will be bugs and glitches and things like that and if you see any you know, just don't judge, don't judge the game by early stages of development, you know what I mean? Alpha. Not super early, but alpha stages of development, you know what I mean? Alright, let's go see what's over here, dude. Alright, some black sand down here. What the heck, dude? Some big, giant, alien mega structure. Alright, we're going down. Yeah, there's no swimming in the game yet. You just run through the water. There are like no basic resources here at all. This is all like advanced mining stuff. Can I somehow get into that or climb up that or something? That looks like some kind of ship or something, you know what I mean? Wow, that thing is monstrous. Holy smokes, man. It's humongous. What is that massive alien mega structure is it a plant or is it a, like it looks like a plant but I think it might be like some kind of some territory of some kind either way I'm not too keen on going here but since I have nothing to lose and since we're venturing exploring the game for the first time ever second time ever we had we had to do it right we've got to do it there's no reason not to at least go check it out and see what it is. What is that thing? That does not look like the rest of the structure. What if this was some kind of beast? Some massive beast. Oh, can I even get in? Can I even get to it? Oh, we got some other we got some other ore down here. I don't know what this is. It's a different kind of ore than what I've seen so far. Probably need like Oh, you can't even mine it. It's nothing. There's nothing to it. Alright, we're going to try to find a way up here. Okay, unfortunately, there is no way up to this, it looks like. And I don't know if I can get onto this little area now. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything here that I can get a way to get up. But I didn't check this out over here. So if I can find a way out of here, I want to go look at this big down ship or whatever the heck this thing is. It's massive, whatever it is. I just don't know if I can get out of here now. I don't see a way out. All right, we made it out, guys. We're out of there. And we're on our way. Oh, there's another mech right there. See it? We're on our way to this big, giant ship. So far, it looks like there's games. There's not a lot of things in the game. You know what I mean? It's kind of empty. But it is early. So I won't I won't hold it against it or anything. Plus, it's like, a, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what game development's like. <laughs> this could have taken forever, for all I know. You know? To put all this stuff in here. I'm always like, Psh, dude, get level design. I can make a level way better than these de Like, not these devs, but like any other dev I've said in the past. You know, it's like, I gotta make a level. So it's like, yeah, but it takes like, it takes a long time and tons and tons of coding and I don't have to do any of that. So I don't speak about that stuff anymore because I don't know anything about anything. Look at these guns on these shit on the ship. I have to be very careful of saying shh because YouTube likes to do its automatic captions and makes me curse when I don't curse because it sucks at doing automatic captions and so is that a bug or something? 
It's a rock, I think. Jeez, it looked like a bug. So can I get in the ship? Doesn't look like it. It doesn't appear to be a way to get inside this thing. There's a mech down here. I don't think they attack you. The other one attacked me. I should say those, uh, the uh, one that we encountered before. That thing did attack me. Those bugs, but I, maybe it's because I triggered them. Whereas this thing, I should have hit the other one and nothing happened. Like, let's see what happens. Let's see if anything happens. Can I kill this thing? I don't know. I I'm assuming that they're just all bugged out right now, or something. I don't even know if I can even kill it with this thing, with my my little pickaxe of doom. So, so there really isn't anything here from the looks of it. I want to find some more of those sacks and let it and see if see if those things can actually kill me or not. Oh, here we go. We found some. Let me. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if those things come if I hit it. Oh my gosh, yes they do. Dude, that thing's just popped out of there, man. Look at that freaky thing. Yeah, make more bugs come. Oh my gosh, it's like a golden one. Oh, we, we made a mistake. We made a mistake. It's coming. Run! Dude, that thing is so scary, man. Oh, are those berries? Can I pick those things? No, no way to know now. I gotta run from this massive red beetle thing. I don't know. What do you call? It? What would you call this thing? A beetle or a bug or an ant or what? Come on, come on, buggy bug. I don't even think I can kill this thing. I just want a good look at it. Give me a Let me get a good look at you. Let me get a good look at you, shall we? Here we go. Oh my gosh, that thing is gross looking, dude. Okay. Yeah, what do you... Oh, it has uh, it has like multiple sets of eyes. Hi. Do you want to play? Oh, uh, you missed. You missed again, dude. You're not too bright. Right. Oh, I'm dead. Straight up one hit me. It just one hit me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're way, we're way, 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 way. What the? What the heck? I have super speed. What the heck, dude? Yeah, I got super speed. I don't even know. What did I do? How did I get the super speed? Uh, did the dev enable this or something? <laughs> Whee! All right, I don't even know how this occurred, but I got myself some super speed. Now, I gotta go get my pickaxe back, guys, because I don't think I have a way of getting that, actually. Oh, I guess I could get these bricks. But how do I... No, I gotta, I gotta get the... There's no way for me to get it. <laughs> Dude, freaking super speed over here. Yeah, boy. Super speed glitch. All right, where did I die at? Over by the ship. Okay. All right, I know. I know now where to go. Dude, we're going so fast. What did I do to trigger this? Oh, it's a massive base. Whoa, what the heck, dude? Where's this area at? Is this faction? Is this my faction here? Tier 1 foundation? I don't even know. Can, can I get up here? Okay, I jump extremely high. Into the base I go. Research station in here. Oh, dude, this is crazy. This super hyper speed. I can't even get out the door. Whoa, somebody's got a ship. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at this mech right here. Oh my. Look at this glorious mech. How do I get in you? Wow, that's sick looking, dude. Yo, check this out. If you go, I found another little mech that I can hold E to open storage. And you can, un, you need a passcode to unlock it. So you, you can't, you, 
it's got an actual passcode on it. That's really cool. So you can't just uh, steal stuff, which is really awesome. I want to see this ship, though, if I can get up here. How do I get up to the... Oh, here we go. Okay, I got to figure out how to take off this... Take off this super speed, because it's a little bit much. Dude, that is so cool. Look at this thing. It's got a massive cannon on it. Here's a guy. I think this is a this is a, a friendly mech here. Is this his base? Oh, this is his base right here. I think this is that guy. Uh, what's his name? San Johan. Look at him. He's like decked out, dude. I think this is his base, right? Is this that guy? Maybe this isn't him. I think it is him, though. Oh, interesting. Yo, why would you not be taking this thing out? That's what I want to know. Everything's, everything's got an unlock code. Can you shut this gate? Is this a big massive gate or something right here? Whoa, there's some cool stuff in this game. I have no idea what any of it means. And I don't know why I'm so fast, but I am. And it's crazy. I feel like I hit like control or something. Uh. Massive mech. Yeah, this is his base right here. Yeah, this is all his stuff. This is so cool. I need to re-log apparently. Let me go get my let me go get my uh freaking pickaxe first. <laughs> Since I don't know how I don't know if I can remake one. Dude, why would I need why would I re-log if I have this freaking super speed glitch, man? You know what I mean? Why would you do that? Well, you can just super speed all over the place. You can find out what's on the map, man. Okay, obviously, this is pretty. This is pretty game breaking. And uh, and if there were more more people on, it'd be an issue. But since there isn't anyone else on, it's not like that big of a deal. But I don't know how it happened, but I could definitely see this being a problem if they if they if they don't fix it. You know, when the servers get more populated. Now where it's about to be dark, so I gotta try to find where I was when I died. And I don't know if I'm going to it's gotta be like right up here. Good thing is I can see my see my my little container. Okay, I was like right here. Yeah, because those sacks were like right there or something. At least I thought so. And I took them over here. It's gone. Everything's gone. Uh, okay, so I don't know. I might just have to re-log and figure it out from there. Alright, if you don't have anything, you can actually just hold down E on an object and you'll get like coal and stuff you can like hit it or punch it like you can in other games so that's good it's and you can just hold it down and holy smokes and you start gathering it at like ridiculously fast speeds oh there's no loose ore left interesting wow I gathered so much there so fast for a second that was crazy we need to find some iron because we need iron to make the pickaxe and then so I wonder if does everyone have loose ore or is that just like kind of random or something I don't freaking know uh, I don't think I can mine anything from those gosh it's so dark all right we made it back to this area where it's got all the coal and the iron and copper and stuff and so we're gonna make a base where let's just find a really good spot here underneath this tree thing would be pretty cool I don't know what it is we need a pickaxe for these yeah like, I don't know what this thing is or if we can build underneath it would kind of be a cool base area but I don't know if I can 
obviously fly out of here if I make a some kind of craft. You know, we won't be able to do that, so we probably shouldn't build here. But I wonder if there's an area that's large enough to facilitate a nice sized base. I would imagine there has to be something here. This is by uh, where those ant thing, like whatever those starship trooper bugs tried to attack us. I mean, that's what those things basically are, starship trooper bugs. <laughs> I don't know. I also don't know what the base building's like, or if I can just build anywhere. So we'll just, I guess, maybe just go for it and see. Which I think we'll build a base in the next episode tomorrow. I think I'm gonna put one out tomorrow, so you guys can stop back for that one too and check that one out. And then let me know if you want to see more. Obviously, so I can always make more. Okay, uh, let's just see. There might be a nice spot. It's also kind of hidden. I don't. I want to somewhat hide my base. At least at first. This valley is a nice starting area, so I would anticipate there being a lot of people who build here eventually. Or come over to this area or something. Like, back here is a kind of a cool spot. All kinds of ore around. Or we could just build right out here by this stuff, although that's kind of like a point of interest. Let's build down here, I think. Let's just start building down here. And so, in order to build, yeah, I think we can do it right here. There's plenty of space here. Just for a, a small base at first. Okay, so we need to look at this stuff right here. And we need foundations. Well, I have this stuff to make a bubble shield. What the heck? Doesn't even require anything. Uh, solid foundation. We need five. Whoa. Wait, what? Compo composite foundation. That's what I want right there. So for that, we need three of those. So. Okay. Wow, that's, that's a lot of that feldspar stuff. Shoot, man, that's gonna take a that's gonna take a lot to make that. Yeah, composite foundation is what I want. The crafting's like relatively quick. It's not too bad. I just want to put one down and then put like a smelter down and then like, kind of get that going. You know what I mean? We drag it down here. Oh yeah, so we can raise it up as high as we want, which is good. We'll go like right here, maybe. Yeah, let's just let's just take it like right here. Sweet. That's awesome. Whoa, what the heck? Oh. I can't I can't build it that high? Oh no. Okay, that's lame. Well, I guess that is it is what it is, I guess, right now, huh? Okay, furnace. What do we need for this? these bricks so we're gonna need some more dude we need that we need everything requires that feldspar stuff like that's like the most common thing it looks like oh, I'm, I, I miss running really fast guys I miss running fast it's, it's so fun and it's so quick lots of this tier 1 stuff around here I don't know what that stuff is for but this is gonna be a good sp this is a good spot I think to build because we're gonna be Requiring some advanced resources. Now, I don't think we get a lot of that feldspar stuff from the coal, so we should probably go mine iron. I think three, because you think you get a lot from the iron, from the iron ones. At least we're getting some. Okay, no no loose left. So I wonder, should you always mine for loose? Should you always mine for loose first, and then grab like you know your pickaxe and go from there? Kind of seems like you should. I wonder if it like equates out to like the same amount or something. I'm not sure. It equates equals out to the same amount. All right, there we go. Let's see. Okay, so we need five of these. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Give me that last one. Okay, furnace is being crafted, so we'll go put that down. And then we'll have a furnace ready, furnace going, and then we can use that to smelt the rest of the stuff. And then I think maybe 
we'll pick up with more of the base building in the next episode or I'll build a little bit off screen or something like that and we can go from there because <clears throat> now that I know I can't build that high it kind of sucks and I don't know if I can I can't even destroy this 500 HP is this still crafting that? wait what? There it goes. That's kind of weird. Did I not? I thought I had enough of the bricks. Apparently. Oh, yeah. I bet you have to stand still. I didn't think you had to do that before. I thought I was able to just run around. Apparently not, huh? Alright, so there's my furnace. Now, in order to make the pickaxe, we need to smelt some iron in here. So let's throw a coal in here and our iron. There we go. Well, I'll put some bricks and then we can make a pickaxe again and we'll be good to go. Guys, thank you for watching this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of the game. Uh, let me know what you think of the videos. And if you want to see more, I'll probably make another one tomorrow, like I said. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.